Currently in our fair city, it's 26.9 degrees, the humidity sitting on 53% and the barometer reads 1,006.5 and it's falling. To the synoptic chart, it's a typical summer pattern. There's a high in the bite. That's directing an east to northeasterly flow over the uh, southern half of the state, subsequently producing fine conditions throughout the southwest land division. There's a new ridge of high pressure uh, expected to develop south of the state uh, during Monday with easterly winds and higher temperatures as that high establishes itself in the bite. Now to the coastal waters, looking at Jirian Bay through to Mandurah, a strong wind warning is current. South to southwesterly winds at 20 to 28 knots, tending south southeasterly at 15 to 20 knots overnight, and then tending south southwesterly at 18 to 25 knots by mid morning, and then increasing to 20 to 30 knots in the afternoon. Seas to 2.5 metres, the swell to 1.5. And now the forecast for Perth and the metropolitan area fine southeasterly winds and early fresh to strong sea breeze. Tonight's minimum 19, tomorrow's forecast maximum around 28 degrees. That fire danger remains high. The Perth outlook for Monday, fine, and uh, temperatures in the high 20s. Tuesday, fine, low 30s. Wednesday, hot, getting up to the mid-30s. Well, the world's top windsurfers were in their element today for the annual Ledge Point to Lancelin Ocean Classic. More than 300 windsurfers, the biggest field for six years, massed at the start to do battle with a 30-knot southwest wind. There were the professionals, the amateurs, the young, and the not-so-young. The top wind servers reached speeds of up to 80 kilometres an hour as they scooted along the 24 kilometre course to Lancelin in a record 28 minutes. But there was the odd hazard, such as a lobster float rope. Great pictures and we can tell you that the winner of that event today was Norway's Sven Rasmussen.